I'm going to give you one last challenge, and that is to take the 90-day tithe challenge. As Jason is coming forward, um, I want you to test God. I want you to do what the Word says and say, okay, for 90 days, I'm going to test you, God, and I'm going to see if this really does work. If you really open up the windows of heaven and pour out blessings on me. We did this tithe challenge um, in November 2019. And Jason and Sherry took the challenge. And I'm going to have you share, have him share his story with you. Whew. Uh, normally, I would just sit here and let Sherry do the talking, but she's out ill, unfortunately. Um, to say God provides is like saying Jason's got facial hair. It's, <laughs> it's pretty much a given. I mean, it's it's the, so grossly understated that you can't even put it into words what he actually does. Um, when we took up the challenge, we were individuals, myself and Sherry. Um, we had just started dating not too long after uh, COVID and everything and gotten serious about dating as a couple. And we found church um, in June of that year, Father's Day of that year, actually. And... Um, we had no idea where our lives were going. We were both very low points in our lives when we found each other, um, which was a blessing in of itself, obviously, because she stuck by me. But um, So we got to November. Fast forward. I'm horrible at telling stories. It's going to take way longer than it should. But um, the tie challenge came up, and I was one of those... Um, like Mindy was saying, that always had an excuse, didn't understand why I had to give 10% of my money. Uh, felt like my money could be better served towards bills or selfishly towards myself. Um, I always had something more important to pay for than, t than paying to God. God doesn't need my money. You know, I, I would turn Bible against, it, against itself. I would twist it to fit my selfish wow. needs. Wow. Um, and then, so when the tithe challenge came up, it like hit me. I, I literally think God smacked me on the back of my head and was like, do it. And so I was like, okay, let me see. I really had no intention of going past the 90 days. Honestly, I didn't even think it was going to last 90 days. I, we had Christmas coming up. Wow. I had a new girlfriend. I had kids. I had a new grandbaby. You know, I had all these things that I felt like my money was going to go towards, but Sherry would not let me <laughs> take away from the tithe. It, um, and, and it was a blessing. Every time, I, I, could, I can't even count how many times money was just showed up. I mean, that was, that was like the easy stuff, right? Like every time I thought I was going to have to pull back some of that tithe, a check would show up in the mail. I mean, it was like just really out there checks, stuff from like my auto insurance giving me a refund on money that I had to pay anyway, you know, things like that. Um, but more so than that, the needs that he provided for went far and beyond monetary. Uh, he provided my spouse. I mean, that's that was something that I, I needed and I still need to this day, Sherry, in my life. Um, he provided, he gave, he gave us the means to provide for others. Um, he allowed us to bring others to church. Um, and I, I honestly think that that was all because of tithing. Um, there's been times throughout where we, sh I don't want to say should have given less, but 10% became less than what we were tithing. But instead, we tithe more. Wow. We, and, and we, we tithe now probably, I mean, it's not much more than 10%, but I'd say we probably tithe somewhere around 15% of our checks now. And it wasn't because we made that conscious ever. We just kept the money where it was at. And whenever we get a pay raise or something, we just keep going up with it. And it, I mean, that's, it's, it's been a blessing. I can't imagine my life without tithing now. Wow. Um, and I know Sherry would say much the same if she could. <laughs>
Thank you for sharing. I didn't even know their story. I knew what God had been doing in their lives, but I did not know that story. That's beautiful. Um, and I want you guys to know the reason that I always preach the tithing messages is because I don't know who gives anything. I've asked it to be that way. That way I can come to you humbly and directly and I can bring forth the word without knowing who, what, when, or where. And so um, I also wanna share that Justin and Cassidy, would you stand up real quick? That's Justin and Cassidy. Everybody say hi, Justin and Cassidy. Thank you. Two and a half years ago, they decided to take the challenge too. And what's crazy, they were also single. Two singles, young adult singles. I mean, how old are y'all now? 20, 23. So two and a half years ago. So that's what, 20, 19 or 20? They made a decision that we're going to do this. They're now married. They have a home. They have so much love to give. They are both leaders in this church now. I mean, it's amazing what God does with our yes, with our surrender, with our saying, okay, God, we're going to get in agreement with you. We're going to be obedient to your word. And so, um, like I said at the beginning of this message, God doesn't want your money. He wants your heart.